So what I see in Russia about the R&D is that um, there's a lot of talent. So there's a lot of people here, the education system is great, so there's a lot of people with qualified degrees who are willing to work. Um, and there has been a huge change done over the last many years where there is investment being made, especially in the area of doing clinical trials. So we have trained the pharmaceutical companies, uh, have trained our associates, we have worked very closely with the investigators, and we call them investigators, they're really physicians who treat patients and train them to do clinical trials. And now they're partners to pharmaceutical companies that are doing clinical trials. I think what we need to do more of, especially in the area of pharmaceuticals, is to start doing early stage research. And this is complex because um, we need a good vision for what are we doing with the early stage research. When it comes to clinical research, some of these programs are under the guidance of regulatory authorities like the FDA or EMA, where we have a clear negotiation of the approach to bringing them as an approved product. So what we need is to enhance the ability of the local regulation, regulatory agency here, work with uh, the regulatory agency to make sure that they can review the programs, they can provide guidance to programs, and uh, they can assess the programs when we come to market and provide the guidance. So, and that will create the infrastructure and the framework for doing good research in the early stage. I think there's a lot of opportunity. So there is going to be increased investment. Uh, clinical trials is a competitive area. So when we look at doing clinical trials, we look at the local infrastructure, the capabilities of the physicians. So all of those are very good here. The prevalence of patients with diseases, the ability to comply with the treatment, good clinical practices. So all of them are excellent in Russia. So because it is competitive, the, the prices here are also very competitive. Physicians are able to recruit patients much at, at different prices compared to Western countries. Now, there are also other countries that are equally trying to come up with their capabilities like in Latin America or in Asia. But I think Russia has now come fairly ahead of these. So it's a very mature market for clinical trials. And in that area, there is going to be a lot of activity. Where I see, of course, the need, as I talked about, is the area of doing early stage research. I think this one will come when we see the maturity in the framework for regulation. And regulatory authorities are not just doing a surveillance, but actually providing guidance and having scientific dialogue with companies. The conference is good, it's my first time, so I think I'll have to uh, save my uh, judgment to uh, the time when it's finished, it's just started. I uh, enjoyed the first session, uh, having the dialogue, looking at the questions, talking to some of the people who are exhibitors here. I think there is a, um, this is a confluence of people who are all trying to come up with new medicines to help patients in Russia. So it is important to have this conference and uh, I think the more people participate and you increase the dialogue, it, uh, it makes somebody who is very young, who is looking for a good career, think about this as an opportunity to spend their time in coming up with new medicines.